Sean, uh, what is eating you? Are you okay? Look, Ree, I mean, it's barely the beginning of New Year. I've already broken a resolution. I still don't understand what happened with the election. You? I don't know what's going to happen on season two of Insecure. My family is off the chain, and I have mad work to do. It's just a lot on my plate. You feel me? Yeah, but sometimes it's not as simple as what's on your plate. It's kind of like a, um, a pizza. <laughs> Uh, Ree, I know I can be cheesy, but I don't think I understand. Okay, so you've got three main ingredients, right? You've got the sauce, you've got the cheese, and you've got the meat. Wait, no veggies? Focus, my brother. Okay, say the sauce represents all the things that your family passes down to you genetically. And the cheese represents, like, your mood and your personality. And the meat represents all the things that are going on in the world right now. Okay, so like biological, psychological, and social stuff. You got it. In fact, we call that the biopsychosocial model of stress and how it impacts your life. So say you have too much salsa. <laughs> okay, and not a lot of cheese. And sometimes, you know, the meat just takes right on over the whole pizza, you know. Bam. Depending on the way that these ingredients interact, sometimes you can experience stress more than at other times of your life or than for other people. No, actually that makes a lot of sense because, I mean, I feel like we're basically dealing with the same things, but you're always so much cooler and calmer. Right. So, Reed, what do I do about the stress pizza that is my life? Well, first let's focus on this actual pizza and then we could talk about how to cope with the stress in your life. I bet. I'm hungry anyways. True. I'm Reed. And I'm CT. And, and this, this is, is our, our Mental Health Minute. In 30 minutes or less. Under pressure.